Welcome back to all the crackers in the box. Still working on this one. Last time you saw me, I had to backtrack because I made a mistake in the row up below. So we are just going to continue working on this particular set and keep going and going and going until this one is done. Done like dinner. Continuing on from my last video of this poncho here, um, I said before I really like this one. I fixed the sizing because it was just it was not going to work. It was only going to get heavier and bigger, and it was already sliding off my shoulders. It was not um, sitting on my chest properly. My bra was sitting out in a weird spot on one side and then not on the other. Like, it just was not working for me and it was just not flattering. I felt very, very uncomfortable in it, so I had to do it. I had to rip the whole thing apart. And I did. And it made me sad. But at the same time, I was really angry that it was not what I had in mind. So now it is really beautiful. It is fitting very well. I'm not, I have changed the pattern already a little bit. Um, the four under the armpits here, I'm doing every second row. So we're coming up on a four pack, oh no. Yeah, we're coming up on a four pack on this next one. And those are increases, just increasing by four because two on each, under each arm. And I didn't want it to be whoosh out like that. And I am considering maybe putting on a bit of a trim on the bottom. I don't know yet. I don't know yet how exactly I want to finish this. I don't know exactly the length I want to go with. We are just trying it on and seeing where if I like where it is. Because it'll be used to throw on over summer gear. Bathing suits, shorts, that kind of thing. It's almost a cover-up. But I also might decide just to turn it into a dress type deal. Who knows? Maybe I'll even put pockets on it. Put a pocket or two on the front. For my phone. Because I'm always having a phone with me. together really nicely. I am quite in love with these colors. And as I was saying, this pattern is cinnamon stitches. It's called Country Road, Old Country Road, Closed Poncho. And I am quite happy with how this is working out. I have no complaints. Not that anyone would listen anyways. <laughs> Funny joke, right? Yeah. Yeah, if I have a little bit left, I will probably turn it into one of the bucket hats, which would be fantastic. I love that idea. Of having a few bucket hats on the go. But 
in their hand. I will have to look at one of the tags here and find out whether or not this is dryable in the dryer. I have a feeling you can, but I don't know if I want to. Here we are, this is my marker telling me that this is one of the armpits under the arms, the pits of the arms, the pit of despair. Yeah, I sometimes think of weird stuff. What can I say? It's a talent. Yep, I can't believe I had to take apart the whole thing, remake it, and like for some reason when I have to do that, I suddenly can get through the pattern a whole lot faster than when I originally made it. Like it'd take me four days to do it. I take it apart, redo it, and it takes me like three hours to get back to where I was, and I'm like, uh How does that work? Does my brain just say, Oh, if this was easy, you can do this? Or is it just familiarity to with the pro with what I need to do or I don't know it could be a lot of things I guess all of them strange and weird so yeah I'm going to be working on these two projects this one and the shawl quite a bit in the next little while but I am going to be throwing in um, finishing off a few things that I have in my to-do pile that I haven't quite finished so, be on the lookout for that. I have a few things that I really need to get out of my piles of things that are just sitting and being quarter finished, almost all finished, most of the way finished, you know what I mean? I'm probably going to have to refer back to a couple of my videos for like the Halloween bags. I can't remember what size of hook I was using. I think it was a four. Uh, maybe a six. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look back. I'm pretty sure I said what size it was in one of the videos. But that'll be fun. Watch one of my old videos? Sure, why not? My kids love that. I get a little embarrassed, but not really. I'm not doing anything bad. I'm just talking and crocheting like... So, that's not too bad. Just when you're uploading stuff, it asks you, um, is this intended for kids? Because they want to know if they can put it on YouTube Kids. And I'd always say no. I don't know if that's... I, I could be considered, but I know they're very strict about what can and cannot go on there. I might misspeak and not even realize I'm breaking rules. So, I'm not going to do that. And it's not like I'm doing tutorials at the moment. I don't think I should be doing them. I don't know. Like, I'll give a tip or two if I find one or two, so keep an eye out for those. But I don't know if I'm good enough or experienced enough to be teaching everyone how to do things. I could probably teach how to do the magic ring, though. I'm really, that I will not even be self-conscious about. I can do one of those. And I'm extremely proud of myself. I put a few good hours trying to learn it. Man, was it frustrating, but I got it. I got it. And now I end up trying to make magic rings every time I start anything. And most of the time. But quite often, I don't need to. Just every excuse I can find to use one, right? Right. tried with this one both times I started it and I was like oh man it's the wrong one I'm going for a slip knot not a magic ring can't go wrong well magic rings are great
and we're coming around again to the end of this row because this row is not as big as it was before because it was quite quite large like I'm not a small girl but I'm not as big as I was making it I don't know what what I was doing I thought it was working but I guess not No, 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 don't get caught. Don't do that. Ah. Hey, don't let that. No. Yeah, accidentally go to the row below and pull a loop which you shouldn't have, and that's all loose and gross. They usually end up going back in after a while, but it always like makes me panic. Well, that was interesting. Nope, nothing going on over there, just random noise. Okay, party like a rock star. Okay, so what I want to do is see. I'm gonna have to slip stitch into two. Okay. Okay, and that should be trying to keep everything as lined up as possible. So one, two, three. Sorry, I was doing some counting and thinking and making sure that I'm lining things up as well as I can to get the look that I want. I think I'm going to need a whole lot more because we are getting quite close to my navel. I don't know how long I want to do it. I'll have to get back to you on that one. Decisions have not been fully fleshed out because I could go as long as I wanted. I could make a point. I could do all sorts of fun stuff with it, but I don't know if I'm going to. But I'm definitely going to uh, lengthen the sleeves. I might even just uh, um go around and then come back around and just leave this slit open so it's a little looser on my arm. I may do that just so it hangs there because the whole point is that I'm just trying to cover my shoulders and my upper arms because I burn there very easily. Same with my chest. It's just the skin just does not do well in the sun so I'm just trying to make sure that I'm covered where I need to be covered more than anything. And watch this year, all of a sudden, sun won't bother me. That's probably not going to happen, but sure. Because I'm trying to make good choices on my clothing so I don't hurt myself going outside. Because I don't seem to be very lucky. 
thinking with my bucket hat, I might make a wider brim than needed, just to be on the safe side. And I'm thinking about making a classic sun hat, the bigger one. I don't know. I will have to think about it. I'm not committing to anything. Don't quote me on it. It's just an idea. I do like a nice hat. Don't get me wrong. That just got weird. I don't know what's going on there. So one, two, and we're just going to go. Go around like this. And like this. Goodness, there we go. Hmm, like the phoenix rising from the ashes, here comes my poncho. now. I mean, I said that last time, right? And I found that I would missed a double crochet. And I didn't want to leave it. Because I just didn't feel right. Like, I will... The only thing I will do that I won't make a big deal out of is say I get to the end of the row and I have the chain twos and there's three. One, two, three. I will, I will fudge that. That I will fudge because I will never ever find that again. I won't see that unless I'm really studying the piece and looking really hard for it. But for the most part, that I will fudge. But the whole pattern has this, and those are quite a bit bigger. And definitely, my eye will definitely find those. And the situation, the person I'm trying to impress the most with this is myself. So, yeah. Hey, me. Enjoy your own work. two and one two I've been looking at the resin hooks I'm really torn on them I don't know if I would actually like them I'm kind of curious but at the same time I don't know if I'd want to buy one because at the same time I'm wondering if I'd actually use it I have a couple plastic ones and, oh wait, I do have some resin ones. I've never used them because they are for the bulkiest of bulkies. Um, they're huge. Huge, huge, like 20, I believe one of them is like a 20 millimeter, which is pretty big. I found a good deal on them, so I had to grab them. I was like, oh, I don't know if I need them today, but I have a feeling that they're going to go up in price. And I was right. I got them for $4.97 for four, and now they're up at 12 something. So I'm not going to complain about buying them when I did, just because I saved so much compared to, like, if I needed it today. Eventually, I'll probably have a use for it. I'm not always into the thicker, thicker 
yarns, so that's probably not going to be something that I'm going to be worrying about too much. So we'll see how that goes, right? Right. hair. Love it. I'm going to just send that on its way, right? One, two. And two. And around with two more, and there we go. So we're coming around to where's my green one? Uh oh, oh it's right over here. So we're getting there. And I'm gonna say thanks for joining me here at all the crackers in the box. And I hope to see you again very soon. Bye!